Hello and welcome to this radio control quick tip. This is a quick tip that I'm making because it was something that I had to figure out because I was struggling to find the information around and it's to do with BL Heli 32 and the ability to use the ESC telemetry inside Betaflight to actually show the current that's being used to run the motors. Now this model that we're looking at here is the one that I've been building as part of the simple quad build or quadcopter building for beginners series 8. I'll put a link to that if you're interested in having a look. But inside here we have a Kakute flight controller and a Teco 4-in-1 ESC, both from Hollybro. And it's created a really nice model and it flies really well. But when I went out and did the FPV test flight, I noticed that the current readings weren't working. So let me very quickly show you what you need to do if you have a similar setup or if you have the telemetry cable connected to your flight controller from BL Heli 32 ESCs. Let me show you the three or four things you have to do in beta flight to get it all working to show the current. First of all, you need to make sure that you're running D-Shot protocol and that way you'll be able to get the telemetry back to the board. Second thing you need to do is go into the port configuration tab. Now in the configuration that I have here, I need to set up UART5 as the sensor input as ESC. There's actually a separate pin on the flight controller that you would connect the telemetry wires to. But in the instance and the model that I have here, all those connections are made just by plugging the ESC4 in one into the flight controller and that's actually the way it comes out of the box. Next thing we need to do, we need then to go down to the bottom of the configuration tab and in the bits and pieces turn on ESC sensor so that it's going to use the BL Heli 32 ESC telemetry as the current sensor and then finally go into the power and battery and then where it says current meter source select ESC sensor in there Make sure that you're saving at each of those individual steps. And then when you go back to your model, you should find it's all working. Word of caution, this is only the amperage being used by the ESCs reported back. So when you're sat on the desk, you will probably find that it will almost be using no current at all. And it won't also be taking account of the current that is being used to run the receiver, the flight controller and those things as well because that current isn't necessarily going through the ESCs. But hopefully that helps those of you that are struggling to try and figure this out or you have the Hollybro, Kakute and Teco combo like I've used in this build and you weren't sure how to set it up. If you do it like that, that should get you working. If you found that video useful or like the content, then please hit the like and subscribe button down below. If you want to go the extra step, you can become a Patreon of the Painless 360 channel and help provide support for what I do here. All the videos created here are put into playlists, so if you're interested in a particular topic, have a look at the playlist, and they all are organised in there to make them easier to use. If you're not sure if there's a video for your particular problem or topic you want to know more about, then add Painless360 to the Google search term that you're interested in, and that should find the video, article, or content about the particular thing that you're interested in having a look at.